Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to configure private networking or isolated networking between a couple of virtual box virtual machines so that way they can only talk to each other and not to any other virtual machines or not to the host or the internet or the outside world. So right now I have these two uh, virtual machines configured as follows. If I go to the network, they're both using host only adapter which means they could talk to my host because my host has the host only adapter as well as the NAT, NAT adapter, so the NAT's the default, so where it kind of acts as a proxy to allow the internet access through uh, to your virtual machines. So if you actually wanted to have host-only adapter with internet access, you could go to the, uh, I can't do this because it's on, go to the second second adapter and enable it for, for NAT. But that's not what we're trying to do, we're just trying to set up a private network between the two. So what we want to do is on each one of them, well actually before we do that, let me show you a couple things here. So here's the IP address right now, 192.168.56.103 and 102. So on this one, let's say I ping. So this guy's talking to this guy, and then on my host computer, if I do the same thing, you can see that I'm talking to this guy, and then I can do the same thing, and I'm talking to them. So I want to just make it so these two are only talking to each other and the host is not talking to it over the network at least. I'd only be able to get to it via the console here. So what I want to do on each one, you do this while it's running. Go to Devices, Network, Network Settings, and change it to Internal Network. And then Advanced, if you want to use some kind of, you know, if you want a multiple MAC addresses or kind of packet sniffing type of software, then you could change Promiscuous to allow all or allow VMs, but we're not worried about that, so we'll just click on OK. Same thing with this guy here. And we'll do a, uh, we'll actually renew the IP address on this one, so remember it was uh, 56.103. Same over here. So one thing you notice is, uh, which this may or may not happen to you, when you're doing the release and renew, it'll kind of hang. So I just close the command prompt and reopen it. And then I do an IP config, and I got an APIPA address on this one. And I should get the same over here. Meaning that it can't contact the DHCP, DHCP server for an address, so you're going to have to give it a manual address. So we just need to go to the network settings for that, for each one. So we'll just make something up. We'll just use a class C. Okay, and then the same thing over here. Okay, so you could just ignore this other one. I had this on here for something else I was playing around with. Um, okay, so let's close this out here. Do an IP config again. Okay. Okay, so now we have 192.168.5.10 and 5.11. And now on my host here, So I can't ping that one, and I can't ping that one. So the host is not talking to them over the network, but I should be able to ping across these.
Okay, so now these are talking back and forth. So obviously, um, if you have the Windows firewall turned on, you're going to have to, you know, allow certain activities through the firewall to do what you need to do, uh, like just even for ping. And to get ping to work, I had to enable file and printer sharing. Otherwise, ping wouldn't come through. So anyway, so hopefully that made sense. So real quick, just um, on each computer, network settings, change it to internal network, and then go to your network settings in Windows or whatever operating system you're using, adapter options. TCP IP v4, give it a manual IP address and subnet mask. You don't need to worry about a gateway because you're not trying to leave the network and you're not worried about DNS unless you're running an internal DNS server within your uh, private network. So once you do that, then you should be able to talk to each other, assuming you, you know, edit your rules in the firewall and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.